four minutes and counting. So again, I'm going to remind you, if you are standing, I'm going to ask you to all take your seats uh, so that uh, you can see, the people behind you can see the, uh, the, the launch when it goes up. Also, when it gets to about one minute, if you can kind of bring your voices down, if you are communicating with somebody else, you can continue to do that, but maybe in a whisper until that launch goes off. transparent. T minus two minutes. Remember, you have about a 35 second delay on the screen. So start watching the horizon rather than the screen. Yeah, you see the venting on the rocket, that is normal. That is just the boil off of the uh, fuel. 30 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna start up. Here we go. Again, keep your voices down, you can hear them.
Zero. Stage separation, that's the separation of the first stage from the second stage. And then seconds after will be the lighting of our second stage engine, which we call second engine startup. Or that is coming up. And we've got a great. That's still visible. So again, if you want to see the landing on the screen, that should be at about eight, and eight to eight and a half minutes. So there's still a few minutes away from that first stage landing out on the ocean barge. So there you have the uh, first stage separating, tracking on the uh, monitor now. So the right side is showing you the second stage. You should have the ignition of that second stage engine momentarily. The left side is going to show you that first stage as it's beginning its journey back down to the earth. Come in. This is flown for a second time, which is a first in SpaceX history. See on your screen, on the left screen, those grid fins have been deployed. And so that was the fairing separation. Remember, I mentioned that earlier. That's a protective nose cone that protects the satellites. Stage one is making its way home for the fourth time. Now stage one burns before hopefully it's standing there on our drone ship. The first one will be the entry burn, which occurs at about 23 seconds, so a little over two minutes from now. That's where those Merlin engines so that it can safely re-enter the atmosphere. From there, the booster will coast for just under a minute and a half and then execute what is called the landing burn. That is where we're going to reignite this a single engine, that E9 engine right in the middle of the booster. Swarming velocity, hopefully standing right there up on the drone ship. Meanwhile, stage two continues to fly nominally. We're hearing that impact D power is nominal. It continues at full power. Stage two pressures. The tank pressures are nominal as well. First and second stage are on a nominal trajectory. Just over a minute away from Meanwhile, stage one. Meanwhile, stage one used to engine is powering that second stage of those satellites with 250,000 pounds of thrust. If you look on the lower left corner, you see the uh, speed of the second stage as it's going up. You also see the altitude. Okay, we're coming up in about 20 seconds on that entry burn. You should be able to see that on the... Meanwhile, stage two continues to burn on the Stage safety.
As you see, that entry burn has begun. Should go for another five seconds or so. just under a minute. So they've temporarily lost the camera feed on the first stage coming back down. What you're seeing is the engine burn on the second stage uh, as it's still increasing in altitude and speed. Over 20,000 kilometers per hour and uh, it's about 167 miles high at this point, altitude. We don't have that video just yet. Started. Stage one landing on the floor. It looks like we're not going to get video on the way down. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. There we go. Successful landing of the first stage on the ocean barge called "Of Course I Still Love You." And with that landing, that does conclude our launch coverage for this morning. The visitor complex is open. You have a whole day to explore all the things we have to offer here at the Kennedy Space Center. I highly suggest take a bus tour while you're here. Visit Atlantis, which is right next door to us here. A lot of other uh, really good things that you can visit and see today, explore. Uh, please do enjoy the rest of your day here at the Kennedy Space Center. 